Hey everyone, it's Marie. I'm going to be doing a card today using colored pencils on craft. Um, so I have this Brutus Monroe stamp set. This is their Conservatory of Quotes. And it's one of my favorites because I just love the florals on here. And I thought it would be fun to emboss and color with um, colored pencils. So I'm taking my powder uh, embossing bag, just put a little bit down on my cardstock to reduce static cling. And now I'm just stamping that with my Misty and a little Versamark ink. Um, then I'm going to be embossing it with Brutus Monroe's Gilded Embossing Powder. And I like to put a coffee filter behind my piece of paper that I'm embossing because it's just a really easy way to um, catch that excess powder and put it back into your bottle. Uh, I just feel like it works really well for me and it's easy to store so it doesn't really even take up much room in your craft space. So now that I have that image embossed, I'm going to speed up this um, part a little bit because the coloring does take a little bit of time to get a good blend. Um, basically when I'm coloring on craft cardstock, I like to take my white pencil and put a layer of that down first. And it just gives my color more vibrancy when I put the other colors over the top. So I'm just putting a layer of white down. And then you'll see I'll come in later with some more colors and layer those over it. And I'm using Prismacolor color pencils. I'm also going to be using some of Tombow's Erogitin pen pencils. I think that's how you say them. <laughs> I could be wrong. Um, and there is a little bit of difference between the pencils that I've noticed. The Prismacolors are a little bit softer. They go on a little bit uh, smoother, I feel. And the Tombow ones, you kind of have to push a little bit more, use a little bit more pressure, at least on this craft cardstock. So they're pretty, they're good pencils either way. I, I prefer the Prismacolor ones be, myself because I feel like they go on a little bit smoother, but they both put down some really nice colors. So I have my white on. I'm taking my Tombow in a light pink, and I'm going to go ahead and put that over the white. Now this is a light color, um, and it does it does blend with the Prismacolor, so you can use them together. But I, I do have to put a little bit more pressure on these Tombow pencils. So I'm just using the pencil, I'm coloring it in, just putting um, a whole, coloring in the whole surface with the pink. And then I will come in after this pink and put a little bit more shading down. Now I am not a expert in coloring. My coloring is really very simple. I like to use two or three colors that coordinate and for the shading I just try to put a little bit of the darker color where it would be darkest. So on this flower I'm putting it in between the folds of the petals kind of where they would sort of overlap and create a shadow and that's really all I'm doing for shading it's very simple so if you want to start with coloring don't feel like you have to be perfect at first just take some pencils or take whatever medium you're working with and just play around and just practice I am still at the practice phase of my coloring so um, don't be afraid to try it it's just a really fun technique so now that you have um, the darker shade on, I'm actually going to take a blending pencil and I'm just going to go through and color all of these colors together and let them blend a little bit more. And it just gets rid of some of those harsher pencil lines when you're coloring and it kind of makes it look a little bit smoother. So that's what I'm doing here as my last step to color this flower. And I'm going to go ahead and color the other flowers just the same way and using the same colors and then blending them at the end. Now that I have my flowers all colored and blended, I'm going to go ahead and start building my card. Now this is kind of my inspiration card. I started on this card and I liked how it turned out so I thought I would shoot a little video on the colored pencils and make a coordinating card. And it's really fun if you make several cards that are the same and you can give them as sets, as gifts, um, and that's just a really nice um, feature. So here is some Renea foil. Uh, these, This is Brutus Monroe's um, embossing powder colors, excuse me, um, they coordinate with Brutus Monroe's embossing powders. So there's the Gilded, there's um, Sterling, there's Penny, and they're just really bright and beautiful metallic colors. So I'm just going to cut a few strips here, and I want to layer it behind my craft panel. 
Um, I'm going to be taking these and cutting them at an angle. And I sped up this part of the video too because it's just a lot of um, assembly. Uh, it's pretty simple so I feel like you can kind of see what I'm doing here. But I cut these little pieces at an angle um, just for a little bit of um, visual interest. And I'm layering them behind where this panel is going to go. So I'm just kind of uh, laying it out, kind of measuring, eyeballing where to put these um, foil pieces and just adhering them down with my ATG. And then I did, you may have seen earlier, I did put some of that kids craft foam behind my panel. I like it because it makes an even, it, it makes an even um, stable background for your panels and it doesn't use up a lot of your foam adhesive because foam adhesive can get expensive. So I went ahead and I adhered, I adhered that down. And for my sentiment, you can see I just stamped on my first card, but for this card I went ahead and I used this stamp set. I stamped it on some vellum and embossed it in Brutus Monroe's Raven black ink. And I'm just going to adhere that down. Now this stamp set that I was using right here is a Sizzix stamp set and I found it at Hobby Lobby on sale for $2.50. And I really loved the lettering and the calligraphy on these uh, sentiments, so I went ahead and I picked it up. Now to adhere it down, I'm just using my Zig glue pen. Uh, I like that I can get some tiny dots behind the embossing here so it doesn't show through the vellum. And I'm just going to kind of nestle it in between those flowers so it kind of um, goes along with the design of the card. I am going to take a small piece of foam adhesive and put it behind that one little piece that is kind of hanging off the edge. Uh, it is going to show through a little bit behind the vellum. So at the end here, you'll see that I'm going to take some sequins and kind of cover that up. Um, vellum can be a little bit tricky when you're trying to put some ad adhesive on, so you don't want it to show through. But if you get creative, you can kind of find ways to hide the adhesive from behind your vellum. So there's my two cars. They're pretty much finished. But like I said, I'm going to grab my sequins. And I have all my sequins in this little container and I have them all labeled from different companies. So I have some there from Kindred Stamps, I have some from Brutus Monroe, and the ones I'm using today are from Dress My Craft. Now I had not heard about this company previously, but I visited their booth at Creativation and I just loved everything they had to offer. They are based out of India, but they have so many amazing products that I would encourage you to go check them out. And I just really loved these sequins. They were so different and so pretty and they gave um, they gave out a few different sample packs of their shaker mixes and I just love this one. And it seems to coordinate pretty well with my card. So I'm putting on some of these sequins using a little bit of glossy accents and I'm just kind of carefully placing them where I think they might look the best. And that's going to finish off the cards for today. So uh, hopefully you liked this, um, gave you a little bit of inspiration to kind of try the colored pencils on craft. Um, if you want more information, look in the description box below or visit my blog for um, more information. So thank you so much for watching today. I hope you'll stop back next time. Bye!